Hey everyone, this is Sharon with It's Time Promotions and today we're doing our seven and seven, um, seven minutes of seven tips. And today we're talking about logo design. So we've got three do's and four don'ts of what to do when you're considering a logo revamp, a logo design or a logo revamp. I'm gonna do a quick screen share here with you. Okay, here we go. Okay, live seven and seven with Sharon, that is me. Next. Three do's and four don'ts on making a logo. Um, of course, the three that popped into my mind is Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and Nike, of course. What is common denominator here? Simplicity. We got easily legible, fonts are nice and clear. Memorable, no more than two colors in the logo, no drop shadows, no clip art, no complex images. What does a logo provide? Logos identify your business, Driver, drive consumer decision-making, allow quick brand recognition. They allow your company to stand out from your competition. So a logo is a, a, big, a big deal, a big deal. Lots of consideration to take into place here. And we're just gonna quickly go over a few of them for you. Do, your first designs should always be done in black and white. Um, color you can add on later, but the reason why you wanna do, make sure your logo works in black and white is for print. And when you compress it, uh, a lot of a lot of our logos we can't do in color for some. There's different items like the print, for example, right? So make sure your logo works in black and white always. That's the very first thing that you should always do. Um, print a copy on your printer. If you have a logo printed on the printer, how does it look? Is it fuzzy? Is it illegible? Um, if any of if it's fuzzy or illegible, um, then go back to the drawing board and see what you can take out and manipulate. Um, so the, yeah, I just have to start here. There's so many colors to choose from. Uh, start with simple black and white and then move into the color. Uh, it's, it's important for like letterhead, print, etc. So just make sure it works in black and white. Don't add too many colors. Rule of thumb, two colors, possibly three. Uh, strive for simple and keep your logo design to two or three colors. I have your pro tip. Make sure your design is not too busy. Take the image, shrink it on your computer. So when you get your, your logo, again, shrink it onto your computer. And is it is it legible still? Like, is it too much, is it too complex? Um, if it's blurry, then we need, need to remove some color. So for example, I like these two images here. So property brokers, imagine you driving through a town and you see some signage on the side of the road. Property brokers, you can see that, you can, you, you get it. It's legible, it's clear. Okay, and then you go to the one on the right here you see the hot dog, you see the hamburger, you see the ketchup. All I know is I'm hungry, but where do I go? I don't even get the name, right? So just that's what you're kind of looking at is you got to have it clear. You got to have it simple. And did you know, I just put this down here. I'm not going to go into too much detail. That might be another video, but actually there's color psychology and branding. It's a true thing. Um, color can influence thinking reactions and stimulate bodily hormones. Example, my favorite color is red. Uh, red screams passion, energy, love, desire, and determination. <laughs> Maybe that's why I love it so much. Dodo. I'm an anti-blue person, but after doing uh, the research on what blue actually interprets, I, I might become a blue person. Blue is a soothing color that caresses your heart with peace, freedom, intuition, and imagination. It inspires us to be loyal, sincere, confident, to be intelligent. Blue is the most popular corporate color. See, it, it is, it's a thing. So there's, there's different color schemes and different uh, color anal analogies for all the whole color spectrum. We can help you with that. Don't pick the wrong font. Fonts is a big thing. Like, again, it's got to be legible. Again, the senda and the senda, on the senda on the left, I can read. The senda on the right just gives me a headache. Uh, so if you've fallen in love with the font because it looks great on the screen, we, accept, we, we, we challenge you to make sure you print it. Uh, print it or put it beside, you know, your letterhead, like to type a letter with your logo. See how it all, all blends together. Different fonts elicit different interpretations. Serif fonts, great choice to communicate trust, tradition, and sophistication. Sans serif, oh, I'm sorry, sans serif fonts, clean and modern. They're easily to read. Script fonts mimic cursive, hand, or cursive handwriting. So often that the signature handwriting, um, the it, it often feels authentic and original. So for example, Comic Sans, like Comic Sans, you wouldn't want to do it for a corporate logo. Comic Sans is like a kid's handwriting, but it'd be great for daycare. So fonts is, is huge when you're incorporated into your logo. It's a huge consideration. Don't, don't do drop shadows. We hate drop shadows. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Drop shadows may 
be a cool concept. I, I disagree with that at all. <laughs> um, but what they do is they make really heavy files. So sometimes when you're, you're shipping files back and forth, they'll come back incorrect. They're, they're just not right. They're, they're wrong. We can't do a lot with the drop shadows. We can't do embroidery, can't do screen printing, and promotional products, it's a nightmare. It's just stay away from them. That's all I have to say. Stay away from drop shadows. And next we are going to do, do your research, check out your competition. Um, why, why you want to do is it understands your field. You need to know what can work and what is appropriate. And most importantly, how to differentiate your company from your competitors. You do not want the same, but yet you want to know what's working, right? So take the time, do your research. Um, it's, it's critical, actually. Do your research amongst everybody. See, what, see what's out there. Make sure you're not the same because you don't want anything. You'll get people get confused between it, um, between your, you and your competition. Next is don't use clip art. Absolutely don't use clip art. So this does happen quite a bit because people are trying to create their logo um, at home. I get it. Inexpensive. But why I'm going to tell you not to use clip art. Um, clip art is a community art. So which means anyone, anyone can be using your brand. So what happens down the road, you got to change it again, right? And you can't, you can't trademark it. Um, what is here? Build your logo the right way the first time it says here. Clip art damages your brand identity. It gives a wrong message to customers and the use of your art may be legal. Maybe legal copyright issues. So just spend some extra time, reach out to us, we can help you. Sometimes clip art, you know, you might like something, but we can improvise it and make it different, right? All right, so just stay away from clip art, think down the road, okay? That's it. I'm hopefully I'm underneath seven minutes. I don't know what my time is, I can't see it. Um, do reach out to us. Uh, we have two graphic artists on staff right now. Uh, we love business. We love all businesses. I'm very passionate about business. We love helping. We love our customers. We love what we do. And we love helping others succeed. We actually get excited when we see businesses blow up. So it's awesome. You can reach out to us at our Lloyd Minister office is 780-875-7771. Our provost office is 780-753-8399. Our website's there, itpromo.ca. And our general email is info at itpromo.ca. Thank you, everyone. It was, a, it was great talking to you. Sorry I missed out on yesterday because of our snowstorm. Um, but we'll touch base with you again in a month. And we'll do live and live, or seven in seven live in one month. Thanks, everybody. Be safe. <laughs>